Okay guys, I'm back with part 3 of Telltale's The Walking Dead. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, please check them out. If you have, then please like, rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Anyway, let's get back into part 3 and see what happens. Come on, Clemmy's hurt and you're just gonna argue. Has he got a gun? Yeah, someone's got she a gun. Already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You anyone. should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. I like if they just all back up for him. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Poor Clemmy. Oh, that noise it makes. It sounds so Hell, that amazing. must have hurt. Not. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. Oh, it won't do any good. Okay. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let Carlos have a look first. You're right. You were right. You want to be sure about this before you do something you might regret. I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. Lucy's on my side. Is that another kid? Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I'm not trying to be protected, but fucking. It's only going to get worse. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? I don't know, you guys are gonna be pissed off. My to out. find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by. Alvin, please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. Oh, I'm not wasting supplies serious. on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, we'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But you're not gonna I'm sorry, little girl. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. Huh. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. My arm really hurts. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, 
Maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Fucking assholes, seriously. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer. I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Just calm down, Clem. Your search team might be able to get out. <laughs> Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Don't tell me she's gonna have to fucking stitch herself. Try the way out there, but I'm just gonna do this first. Gotta search everything. An anchor. <laughs> If only someone could pick that up, that'd be a hell of a fucking weapon. Hmm. Search around. Fucking barrels. Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. What about up there? Grab that hammer. Oh, come on, Clemmy. Be smart, Glenn. Be smart. I know you're on it, but... You've got to be smart. It's not going to work. Try and pull it. Nope, you got to get the hammer somehow. Is that even gonna hold if she climbs on that? <coughs> Surprisingly, yes. <coughs> Why do I, really I had a feeling that it collapsed. Oh, bless. I thought she broke it on then. Oh, good jeez. Poor Clemmy Clem. <coughs> Let's get that. Come on, Clemmy. Use the hammer. Come on, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull, 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 pull. Ah, There we go. Kick that in. Break it. Good girl, there you go. Get out of here. We have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Don't tell me I've got to sneak in the house. Find a way into the cabin and turn a little broadside and some bandages. Are you joking? With people around. Oh my god, why do I have a feeling this is not gonna go well? Uh, look through that window. I'll see that one first since it's closest. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? 
put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. Seriously, I need down the man. Here. Fucking calm down. What the hell are you doing? I need your help. I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Sorry, get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. Will you just let me die? I wouldn't let you do nothing. It's not my call. We're a group. But you could help. And if you don't, isn't that the same? I don't know, all right? I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. I got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. I got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm already in trouble just talking to you. Sorry I bothered you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about your damn arm. Wish I could help you, but... <laughs> you try not to die. So you're just being a fucking dick at the moment. I'm still... Uh-huh. So there's nothing there. Not this way though. <laughs> of course. Of course, everything is locked and barred up basically. Go Clemmy, go, 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 go. Go Clemmy, go, 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 go. Quick. Go Clemmy. Got my little funny. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, there's gotta be something for poor Clemmy. The walker's getting closer. Two windows down back as well. I have a feeling that door's not gonna open. Ow. I think it's getting worse. Oh. Come on, let Clemmy in. Everything's locked. <coughs> okay, well, that was worth a try, I guess. <laughs> How is she going to do that one, seriously? <coughs> ah. Let's take that pipe off then. Got a hammer for climbing. Use the hammer. Come on. Get in that house. Come on, it's getting closer. Pull it on. Let's go. Go, 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 climbing, go. Pull that wooden front camera? No. Okay, um. I'll be like meeting in five minutes. Best. Best. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Oh, fine. I just have a huge knife. Try to mount first. Come on. 
already made my decision. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. All I can do is go through this door, and I don't want to. I mean, I do, but I don't want to, because I feel like somebody's going to hurt for me. She's like a stealthy ninja. Just at the door. Just see. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she is, they'll probably come looking for her. Come on, come let's go for an artist. Up the stairs. Shh. Medicine cabinet, come on, Clem. Pick up a needle. Come on. It's clean. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll still need some bandages and something to keep it from getting infected. Feeling she's gonna get caught. That man from time. Let it be okay. Let it be his. How to do this? Are you cheating? You're okay, Clem. Come on. That was close. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Oh, God, what time? What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. <laughs> cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Of course it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it up and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this applies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. Oh, thank God. At least the girls got I'm Sarah. Cares more. Cares more. Clementine. I'm Clementine. We're friends. 
Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, yeah, it'll friends. be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? Promise. I promise. Wow. Me too. I, don't know, I feel like I'm going to... Shit. I'll do it. You're helping me, so yeah. I guess I owe you. <laughs> Thank you. A pinky it. swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. Is there any place for me to hide now? I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. No. I won't. Okay, one more place to check. Come on, Clement. Thanks, Sarah. Exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get back to the ship. Let's go. First, we gotta have a look see if there's anything else to help us. Flower rags, trophy. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Fish in line for stitches. This is gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, poor girl. Poor Clemmy. Okay, let's get the hydrogen peroxide first. And clean it out, there it goes. Don't scream, please don't scream. It'll clean it, it'll clean it, it's okay. It's okay, okay. can I take a deep breath? Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Yes, you're fine, go on. Now the fun part. Oh, it's always always the fun part. Crystal showed me.
Come on, Clemmy. Come on. Just for your own sake. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. Don't help, Clemmy. Come on. It's the best thing for your wound. I feel so bad, it's like I'm torturing her. You can do it, Clemmy, you can do it. Just a bit more, Clem, just a bit more, come on. I feel so bad. I feel like I'm torturing her. Okay, you're finished, Clem. You just gotta tie it. What, you going again? I thought it was finished. Quick. Come on. I thought she stuck it in at the wrong, wrong angle. Stick it in the wrong angle, pull it through the time. Oh, there you go. Right, don't tell me you're doing it another time, no. Oh, jeez. I got the torture's over for me. Oh, God, let's get a bandage on me. Joking? Oh no, poor Clemmy. Oh, we gotta do that again now. Okay, here goes. I sort of froze there. Don't stop. Beat the shit out of you. Oh, 
Okay, so you went through the pain of fucking. Holy shit! What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? Please come inside now. The shed should be safe. Bitten. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. I did, she hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Fucking rules. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Oof. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. Out we better get inside. You hungry? I'm starving. Oh, Okay guys, I'm going to end it there for part 3, I'll see you back with part 4, if you like it please rate, comment, subscribe and I'll keep, you know, just let me know what you think, so, see you guys.